Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show here for Wednesday, March 13th. That was some more conference tournament action here for today. Conference tournaments, at least the big ones, starting to ramp up a little bit more. A lot of action, a lot of daytime action today, so we'll jump into all of that in a second. Before we do, though, looking back to Tuesday night, we actually end up winning both picks there. Had the Boston College money on, as well as New Hampshire earlier in the day, even though we got some pretty bad closing line value on that New Hampshire pick. Um, really no doubt there. So 2-0 on the day, nice win there. And as always, you can check the full results down in the description or on the community tab here on YouTube. And while you're over on the website, check out all of the computer model picks over there. Obviously, got college basketball, NBA, NHL, UFC, and horse racing picks being posted every single day. So take a look at all of that. And if you haven't already joined the Discord server, click that link down below. Go join over there. You can get my recommended unit size for all of my picks and all of the great stuff over on the Discord server. So like I said, 100% free to join. Click that link down below. And let's jump into today's show. Now we start today's show out from Las Vegas, the Mountain West Tournament, Fresno State taking on Wyoming for Fresno State. Coming to this game is the 222nd overall team in the Hot Tip Power Ranking. Wyoming is the 182nd overall team. And if this game sounds familiar from the breakdowns, it's because we literally just broke down this matchup on Saturday, a game that Wyoming won pretty handedly on the road against this Fresno State team, a team in Fresno State that we bet on in that game. And that I'm looking to bet on again in this one. Maybe a stupid decision on my part, but I really do like what this Fresno State team has put on the court. Yes, they lost to this Wyoming team twice during the regular season, but in that first meeting on the road in Laramie, it was a Fresno State team that kept it within one point, and while they certainly don't have any great wins in the Mountain West this season, I mean, they haven't won a game since February 10th, they've done a decent job shooting the basketball this season, a 51.4 effective field goal percentage for Fresno State. Wyoming, not a terrible shooting team as well, hitting a 50.9 um, effective field goal percentage on the season while Wyoming did finish the regular season with a couple of wins it's not like overall they were a ton better than this Fresno State team even if maybe a notch or two above them is a fair um, assessment for Wyoming this season on the neutral court in this game the model does like Wyoming though a 2.11 favorite towards them in this game but Fresno State's currently getting seven and a half points up a point from the open at six and a half a 12.26 percent edge towards Fresno State plus seven and a half in this game and maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot going back on this Fresno State team but I don't think a Wyoming beats them three times this season or maybe beats them but I don't think Fresno State gets blown out like they did on Saturday I think there's a little bit of revenge from that I think they keep this close, taking them plus seven and a half here against Wyoming. Now we head to the Pac-12 tournament for this next game as USC takes on Washington for USC. Coming to this game is the 80th overall team in the high-tip power ranking. Washington is the 63rd overall team. Overall, this Washington squad has been hit or miss at times this season, sure, but they did finish the season with a solid win over Washington State in their final game of the regular season. And overall, it's a Washington team that loves to push tempo and has done a decent job shooting the basketball this season. A 53.5 effective field goal percentage on the year. As far as USC goes obviously didn't start out Pac-12 play great but finished it out with a couple of solid wins including a win against Arizona and a win on the road against this Washington team um, overall they've done a decent job shooting the basketball as well I'll struggled a little bit more than Washington only a 51.8 effective field goal percentage on the season for them Overall, the model does like Washington on the neutral court, a 1.78 spread in Washington's favor coming into this game. And as far as the books go, we started to move a little bit in the Washington direction, opened at two, two and a half, up to three, three and a half at the moment, a 9.57% edge towards Washington in this game. And I think especially coming off the loss to this USC team, um, you know, in their second to last game of the season for Washington, I think we're going to see a strong performance out of them in this one. And I think they finished this one out strong taking them plus three and a half here against usc now we finished wednesday show off from the a10 as st louis takes on duquesne for st louis coming to this game is the 185th overall team in the hot to power ranking duquesne is the 99th overall team overall for this duquesne team really has played very well through a10 play here all you know they started a10 play 0 and 5 they finished out going 10 and 3 in their final 13 games and overall defensively they have been very strong this season only giving up a 48.4 effective field goal percentage on 
on the year. And St. Louis has certainly had some struggles from where they were even a few seasons ago. While their offense wasn't terrible at times this season, their defense certainly showed some struggles, especially just purely shooting wise, giving up a 54.2 effective field goal percentage on the season. Overall, have not been a huge fan of this St. Louis team this season. And overall, the model does like Duquesne here on the neutral court, a 6.1 favorite towards Duquesne in this game. And as far as the books go, this one's been a little bit weird watching it move from the open. It opened at minus five, at least on DraftKings, but at plus 110, minus 130 on the other side. Currently, the best odds on the Duquesne side of things are minus four and a half, minus 115 from FanDuel, but it's all over the place and it's moving a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't move too bad before I'm able to get the video out and we can you know lock in this line here. But at the moment, Duquesne minus four and a half on FanDuel is a 5.13% edge. And I do like this Duquesne team. They obviously finished this season um you know very very strong after that rough start to a10 play and defensively they are just leaps and bounds better than st louis i don't think they have any problem covering this spread even if it moves a little bit on us but um at the moment duquesne minus four and a half that's what i'm taking here for this one